Hey man, let me ask you something. What's the cost of living in this world? Uh, two mighty media left, man. This is brother Bob Brown, man. Let's talk about one time. Yeah, yeah. What up, what up, what up, what up, what up, what up? What up? Super producer. And to his left, we got we got few more. Oh, yeah. Let me see you on fire, man. Let's go. Let's go. And as I listen to this project and some of your older work, that's what you you always present in the storyline. Yesterday, it was a long time coming. The Hip Hop Convo podcast, big podcast in Chicago. You know, salute to McKinday and Amon and the rest of the good folks over there. We met up at uh, my homie Twan's spot, V5 Coffee. We met there, we chopped it up for about a, two hours, and we spoke about the Cost of Living album. And uh, it was a great you know, conversation. Uh, uh, album, a feature, whatever. You know what I'm saying? I didn't know what it was going to be, but, um, you know, it ended up being this album, Cost of Living. Now, as a, as a producer, do you prefer to work in studio with the artists? Good question, yeah. bro. Because, you know, Momo just Good like, question. Send me the joint, I'll send it back. Nah, man, nah. see, that's the thing, man. Everybody knows me. Nah, they know I don't, I don't do email albums, man. That, 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 you know, we gonna, we gonna do an album together, we gonna get in the studio together. We had a great time, and you know, we made it a night. You know what I'm saying? Yesterday was, was very dope, as always. I've been a fan of Fillmore for a while. You know, before I even got, you know, engaged in, in his, his music, I knew that he, you know, he ran with Rashid Hadi. Rashid Hadi and I were, we were going through Detroit. We went to Detroit probably a few times, like more than three times in one month. And uh, one particular tour, he came on uh, with, with Sky Zoo and El Zai. And he came through. He came through. Apollo and Rashid go way back. You know, they go back, they're 15 years now. Hadi's somebody I've known for a long time a very well-respected producer. You know, anybody that messes with Heidi, man, I'm, I'm cool with. Paulo had appreciation for the music. He expressed that, told me he was a fan. You know, just kind of pulled him aside, man. It was just like, yo, man, um, I respect your music. I respect what you do. I'm a fan. And uh, yo, we need to work. You know, I didn't know what that work would be. I didn't know if it would be a song or a feature or, or, or you know, a whole album. And, you know, he reached out one day and was like, you know, let's make this classic. Obviously, it ended up being a whole album, you know, and now we got Cost of Living. Well, today, uh, Paulo and I, we have the Cost of Living, you know, uh, listening session. We want to give people that opportunity to come in and check it out before the rest of the world. You know what I mean? So we, what I want from it, I want people to, you know, listen to it, and it's gonna get, people gonna leave with a different mind frame when they hear certain records. Good morning, welcome to the average, no better place. These are the days of our lives, wishing for better days. They may listen to some records and say, man, let me let me go seek therapy. Let me go talk to a therapist. I see Fillmore's doing it, he's speaking about it in his records. Let me go call my mom because I just heard, just imagine, you know, she may be going through some trauma from some, some shit I did when I was a kid. Let me go do that. You know, it's going, I just, we just wanna help people, man. You make music for yourself, but you touch other people with it. The stuff I create is thousands of people that's going through the same things. Yo. I've never known anything but hunger. Everybody gotta eat. Look. The sound of the album is, is really my my personal inter, you know interpretation of Chicago. I wouldn't say he studied me. I didn't pick not one beat. Like he had these beats already crafted for me. It was his interpretation of Chicago. And he just gave him to me to paint over. Being that I'm from Detroit, um, this is kind of how I I feel like Chicago sounds in my ear. This album is very introspective and it means a lot to me. You know, and this is another notch on my career. Amazing, beautiful album, very introspective. Um, that's what we wanted. We wanted something that, that kind of captured, you know, the life of, of, of many. Um, there's really no rah-rah, no braggadocio. Um, the whole album is life. Um, it's life music. Steep life. Steep life coming up with niggas the sheep life. Yeah. Rappers and hoopers, we strive to be like. It's steep life coming up with niggas the sheep life. Yeah. Rappers and hoopers, Look, we strive to Step in the concrete like. jungle. Everything you know, it's a very great experience. You know, I, I've, I've been watching Apollo Brown and 
mellow music for years, bro. And working with Phil, man, it's, it's been it's been an absolute pleasure. Apollo Brown is a fucking legend, bro. Like you can't just you can't just get a beat from Apollo Brown. He's a it's, you know, he's a fucking legend. I've gained somebody who who I work with professionally, but I've also gained a friend. I've also gained somebody that I respect. I'ma come clean. Like I used to rap to Apollo Brown beats before he even knew me. Like I used to take the motherfucking instrumentals and and put them on before the show and just rock the show, open the show with Apollo Brown beats. And me and my me and my brother Saul, we would we would listen to his music and everybody who used to get in the whip, they would know like this is what we're listening to. You know, we have a lot of the same morals, a lot of the same values. We share a lot of the same interests. Um, he's just an overall good dude, man. And, and uh, I have I have a thing with that when I work with artists. To work with Apollo Brown is dope, man. You know, when you can really, you work to this point because you can't approach him, he has to approach you. I'm just glad that I can be even the smallest piece in his career. Cost of Living was amazing. Oh, it was an absolutely amazing album. Phenomenal. Epic. Great album. Uh, first of all, the beats on this album. Fire, they get into your soul, they get into your bones. The beats were fire. And you feel it in your gut and you make you screw face. Overly moved and impressed by the sound, the quality. But more importantly, like the message and the music. To say that this album is introspective, I feel like is an understatement. It, 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 it picked me up, it took me, it dropped me off. You know what I mean? With the productions and the rhymes, the content, what are you talking about? It's just like raw honesty, which is something that's in the way in which he delivers is not something you hear often. Real hip hop, real MC, real storytelling. That's what hip hop is originally about. The flow of it, the storytelling. Really vivid imagery of what it's like just living in Chicago. It's epic. It's one of the greatest moments for Chicago history. Fillmore actually believes what he writes. And that's important. So if you ask me if it was good, my probably my initial response would, would be, is it Pope religious nigga? Uh, yes. Definitely an album that you should check out. I'm definitely buying the vinyl. Definitely a dope album, for sure. Go cop that album. Please, go cop that shit. Apollo Brown, Feel More Green, Cost of Living, out right now. You know what I mean? Go stream that on all DSPs. Go cop that vinyl and the rest of the merch on the Bandcamp as well. <laughs>